Hi, oh, welcome to the session. Uh, in this session, we'll discuss about uh, the changes that are going to happen in CMA Part 2, effectively from 1st January 2020, CMA Part 2. First of all, uh, the title in CMA Part 2 is going to be Strategic Financial Management. Yep, we'll have a fantastic title strategic financial management let's have a glance on the topics which we discussed in uh, the old syllabus uh, title financial decision making in which we studied six sections financial statement analysis corporate finance decision analysis risk management investment decisions and professional ethics with the weightages given by the IMA 25% 20% 20% 10% 15% and 10% respectively now this has been a change to strategic financial management if you observe the topics and sections there's no much change the sections as well as topics but if you observe the weightage you'll have some changes so we can say that as compared to CMA part 1 we do not have a, a significant changes in the CMA part 2 the first change what we observed is the change in title and we can see that uh, six sections we have six sections and the weightages there are small changes in the weightages we'll observe them one by one first thing the change in the title is strategic financial management from financial decision making the existing title so we are going to study strategic financial management the content the content is going to be section wise it remains same topic titles will remain same but if you observe the weightage uh, given for financial statement analysis it was 25 percent it is going to be 20 percent so we can say that there will be some less weightage on the financial statement analysis Corporate finance uh, continuing with the same percentage, 20% and 20%. But if you observe in decision analysis, uh, it's been increased from 20% to 25%. Now, it is the time to uh, practice a lot on decision analysis in which we'll be studying about uh, cost volume profit analysis, CVP analysis then uh, the pricing then uh, decisions on uh, seller for the processing uh, special orders add order of a segment or a product line maximizing the contribution using the limiting factor so the content will remain same but the weightage has been increased to to 25 percent the small uh, topic which is deleted will come to know later yep the risk management uh, the weightage remains same 10 percent and 10 percent now the investment decisions uh, the weightage is reduced from 15 percent to uh, 10 percent so you can see that your payback period irr npv and ARR profitability index and all are going to give you 10% unlike 15% weightage as compared to the previous one. Professional ethics, yep, there's an importance for professional ethics here and it's been increased by 5% from 10%. So this is the change in the weightage you can find. As far as the content is concerned, uh, there's no change in the titles but uh, titles in the contents but uh, 
there is a change uh, in the syllabus for few topics which are deleted like off balance sheet financing and bankruptcy then taxes then the transfer pricing transfer pricing is reduced or uh, deleted here uh, maybe because the transfer pricing topic uh, which already we covered in cma part one that could be the reason for deleting transfer price from uh, cma part two the added content is going to be as you know that uh, we have a professional ethics with 15 percent weightage on like 10 percent weightage earlier so the added content in this is going to be moral philosophies leadership and group think then corporate sustainability these are the contents we are going to study from uh, 2020 and effectively this uh, testing is done from january 1st not for september october window that you need to keep in mind hope you understand the changes in cma part two and uh, wish you all the uh, good success in our uh, upcoming exams thank you all and uh, see you in the next session when nice i stand